Cybersecurity is a hot topic these days, and more and more people are hopping on the cyber train with varying degrees of success. The weekly mentorship mega thread on cybersecurity Reddit is always brimming with people with all sorts of questions. From how do I move from being a bartender to be a cybersecurity professional to I have a bunch of certifications and I still don't have a job. What gives? So today I will address the burning question, how do I break into cybersecurity? And I will approach this question from four different angles. The first one is learning. The second one is practicing. The third one is demonstrating. And finally, the fourth one is applying for a job. Now, because there are a few things I want to talk about in regards to learning, I have decided to dedicate this video to just that. And I will dedicate the next video or next couple of videos to the remaining angles. Now, in terms of learning, there are a couple of ways you can go about this. You can choose to go to university, perhaps taking a boot camp or a course. You can choose a self-taught route, or you can try to find a mentor. Now, to give you some context on my academic background, I have a bachelor's and a master's in engineering of telecommunications and informatics. And to give you some comparison with a degree perhaps taken in another country or in America, my degree or degrees are a combination of computer science, IT and cybersecurity. And my master is actually focused on cybersecurity. Now, I will add that because I'm from Portugal, student debt is not really a concern, which is something that is completely different when compared to America. Now, it seems that these days universities are like the seed of the devil. They are called useless and a waste of money by some people. And the people that tend to peddle this idea are usually self-taught gurus with courses that they need to sell. Now, let's be honest, universities are not good for their business. They are like the villain in their sales pitch. In the defense of universities, I will say that my degree gave me a massive edge compared to my peers, especially when I combined it with many hours of self-learning and practice. Even though at the time I felt like it was a waste of time because I was having a lot of subjects that I considered completely useless for my career as a cybersecurity professional. Now, I will say in defense of the university critics that they are to an extent right. It is true that degrees are expensive, they are time consuming, and a lot of times they are simply outdated and even bloated with useless subjects. However, to me, the role of a university is to simply give you the fundamentals and the tools that then you can use the way you see fit to build your own career and your own path. And from this perspective, it's totally understandable that they are not going to teach you or let you play with cutting edge technology. This happens by design. Universities are not meant to do this. They are simply meant to teach you fundamentals. Because at the end of the day, fundamentals are everything. The rest is just abstractions. Now, I can see that you are not really convinced about my university pitch and you prefer to go down the route of courses and boot camps. And because of this, I've decided to add a link in the description to a security certification roadmap. Now, jokes aside, I will say, and I've said this before on social media, that I feel that a lot of these companies that are behind these certifications and courses and even boot camps, they are simply money-making machines. They are actually predatory businesses, even though I actually hold several certifications. Now, my gripe with this is that the idea of guaranteed employability is dangled in front of the newbies. And what ends up happening is that these people get a half-baked syllabus, a part of their paycheck gone, and a generic certification that most recruiters are going to swipe left on. Because, let's be honest, their CVs and their certifications are the same as 10,000 other candidates. And then these people go to social media, communities like Reddit or even Facebook, complaining that they have 20 certifications and they still have no job. And they even go as far as asking, okay, what's the next certification? Because it clearly means that I don't have enough of them. Now, do I consider that boot camps and courses are useless? Absolutely not. The answer is always, it depends. It depends on who is teaching. It depends on the syllabus of the course. What I will say is that you should always approach a course or a boot camp with this, and even a certification with a single objective, to learn. 
If you start from a point where you don't know anything on a topic and you decide to take a course just to be better at it and to, to learn from scratch, just go for it. But don't forget that learning and these courses must be coupled with a lot of self-learning outside the course itself and also a lot of practice. If you combine these courses with a lot of self-learning and a lot of practice, you will be a much better professional. And before you take the course, and if you are not really sure if the syllabus is going to benefit you in any way or if the certification is too expensive, just consider reaching out to someone in the field that has more experience and has been in the field for a longer time, and they can tell you if the syllabus makes sense to you and if it's something that is worth investing your money in. Now, let's assume that you've decided to take the self-taught route which is a route that I actually incentivize people to follow because it's going to prepare you for the future. So if you decided to choose the self-taught route, here are three tips that I have for you. The first one is learn the fundamentals of programming and software development. The second one is read books on cybersecurity, IT and computer science. And finally, find a mentor. Let's start with the first tip, learning programming and the fundamentals of software development. And I will say that this opinion has given me a lot of trouble on social media because a lot of people don't agree with me. They feel that cybersecurity professionals don't really need to know how to program. And I feel that is really, really incorrect and dangerous. Now, because I want to keep this video short, I will just say this. Every piece of tech that you interact with, from your phone to your cloud provider, consists of a stack of software and hardware that the dear to recurring engineering principles and patterns. And if you don't really know what I mean by this, just go to Google and search for software design patterns as a starting point. Now, this means that most of the tech that you are going to run into, especially software, is rooted on programming fundamentals. So that means that by knowing how to code, you'll be able to learn most cutting edge pieces of software with relative ease, which is going to speed up your learning tremendously. Now, this topic in specific is enough for an entire video dedicated to it, as I've posted before on social media. So I'll just leave it at that. Now, the second one is read books on computer science, IT and cybersecurity. Now, I've said this many times on some of my old posts on social media that cybersecurity is simply a meta subject, the same way as IT and unlike computer science. And what I mean by this is that for you to understand cybersecurity, you need to learn IT and you need to understand and learn computer science as well. So that means that from my perspective, the most effective way for you to actually learn cybersecurity is by taking a bottom up approach. That means that you start by learning computer science, then IT and then cybersecurity. Now, I will say that this is the most effective, but not really the most efficient, especially when you don't have someone to mentor you and actually tell you what matters and what doesn't matter. And because of this, I advise you to instead take a top-down approach. And this means that you start by looking at cybersecurity and then you dive deeper into IT and computer science as you see fit when you find that some of the knowledge that you have is not enough and then you need to learn fundamentals and something deeper below the cybersecurity layer. Now, as an example, imagine that you are working with AWS and you are configuring a VPC. You are going to hear about IPs, subnets, gateways, firewalls, security groups, network access control lists, etc. And all of these terms are going to be very confusing to you. And this is the point where you should start for each term, start searching more about it. And as you dive deeper, you are going to find more basic concepts of networking, such as classic firewalls, routers, switches, MAC addresses, etc. Now, from here on, you can go deeper and deeper and you are going to stop whenever you find that you have enough information. Of course, this is something that if you don't have someone to help you with, if you don't have a mentor, someone to guide you, you may waste some time, but over time you are going to start understanding when you should go deeper, when you should just stop and stick to the layer where you are. Now, if you need to choose the books, I'm personally not really uh, such a book reader these days. I prefer to search online and search documentation. As a matter of fact, I spend most of my days working with AWS, so I read a lot of documentation, not so many books. But if you have to choose books, for you to learn cybersecurity, IT, and computer science, this is what I advise. Just pick a well-known university, 
pick a course that they may have a degree in cybersecurity, perhaps in IT or computer science, look at the subjects for each year and for each semester, take note of these and then search books on these topics. Buy the books and read them. It's going to be much slower because there is no professor or someone to, to guide you and to show you what you should focus on or not. But at the end of the day, it shows a self-taught route and this is how it works. Now, the last tip I have for you is find a mentor. I can say with fair confidence that most people that come to the Mentorship Mondays on Reddit looking for advice and leaving with just a bunch of links for posts on a bunch of blogs are never going to succeed in cybersecurity. This is just a sad reality and I don't really feel well for saying this, but it's just a fact. And the reason for this is that there is way too much information. Even for me, when I open some of these links, I notice that there is so much, so many things that I have to go through that I'm like, how is it possible that someone that has no fundamentals, no idea of what IT looks like, of what computer science and cybersecurity looks like, is going to go through all of these links, trying to learn and trying to make some sense out of this. And this is where I find that a mentor or a coach is quite useful. A mentor can accelerate your learning curve and your career progression by leaps and bounds. And that means that you are going to end up getting a job much faster when compared to just choosing the full self-taught route with no support from anyone. Now, from my experience, I provide this type of services. I have interviewed, I have hired, and I've coached many people at this point. So that means that I have a very good understanding of the industry. Not only that, but I've also been in several areas. I've worked in SecOps. I've worked with cloud security, I've worked as a threat researcher, I've worked with forensics. I have a quite broad knowledge that can be a major asset for someone that is looking for guidance. Now, I understand that you may not want to pay for a mentor, and to me, that's totally valid. If you can find information online, or if you can find someone that can mentor you for free, mentor you and coach you for free, just go for it. You have a friend, or perhaps you have an acquaintances that it is in the cybersecurity field, and they are open open to, to guide you, to teach you, and to show you the ropes, just go for it. Take the opportunity and learn from them. What I would advise you is one of two things, and this depends on what you are looking for. If you want to specialize in a specific field, then choose someone that is an expert in that field. But if you are just trying to get into cybersecurity and you are not really sure what to choose, then try to find someone that has a broad knowledge, like me, for instance. But there are other people that have been through several areas and they can also provide you some solid advice. Now, what I'm going to ask you is to please avoid self-taught gurus on YouTube or on social media. A lot of these people, they have absolutely no background in cybersecurity or computer science. They have questionable track records. Most of them can't even tell the difference between the virtual machine and the container, even if their lives depended on it. So be really careful with how you choose the people you follow and to whom are you going to give your money? If you find someone that you are not sure about their, if they, they have the skills or not, just check LinkedIn, check their CVs, make sure that they have a good track record before giving away any money for a course or for any mentorship. And we have reached the end of the video, Spartans. To summarize, in order for you to break into cybersecurity, you must approach the problem from four different angles. Learning, practicing, demonstrating and applying for a job. In this video, I talked about learning because it's a quite extensive topic. Stay tuned as I will discuss the remaining angles in the next video or videos. I hope you find this video insightful. Please leave any comments or questions below and I'll make sure to address them. Until next time, stay safe, stay paranoid.